the monkey out in me because you're such a monkey. I gotta be ready to hug you. Baby. I'm a podium kind of guy. I'm not a fourth place kind of guy. It's like I'm real. Very strange, Vanessa. Very strange. That's good. I love it. I love it. The Premier League stuff is sick, bro. The money flows free in Montreal. The fish collected the fruit walk. How sick are you in the head? Oh, that was a blow up. Never ends. Never, ever, ever, ever ends. The Party Poker Premier League continues here in Montreal, Canada. Twelve of the world's greatest players arrived at the Playground Poker Club to compete for one of the most prestigious titles in the game. And tonight, four players will be eliminated as we reach the end of the league stages and move a step closer to crowning this season's champion. Last time, Esfandiari, Seaver, Selbst and Chat all started the heat needing big results and they pushed to stay in the mix. Selp struggled in the early stages and lost a big pot to Mizzy. How sick are you in the head? Never mind, never mind, never mind. Despite a poor start, she put Raz to the test. Always. How about it's against the nuts? I would bet a lot of money at even money, like the farm that you don't have me beat. Defending champion Dan Shack was active, showing his class with a bluff against Scott Seaver. I hear you had it in you, Dan. But it was Sorrell Mizzy who ruled the roost, and he holds the chip lead. This is the current leaderboard with Mizzy on the top. Dan Shack's bluff has helped him move up into second position. The rest of the field are pretty bunched, apart from Vanessa Selbst, who is still struggling at the bottom of the board after some bad beats. Vanessa's in a tight spot. She's one of the players that really needs to do well here in order to get into the heads up. You've been playing against Sorrell a little bit, and uh, do you think he's opening wider than maybe he should be in terms of the structure? Definitely. He's definitely playing way too many hands. Um, classic situation was the hand that we had, the huge hand that we played. Like, he shouldn't even really have hands that can make a hand that can shove. Mm. Like, the only hands that should be able to shove the river are ace jack or like quad aces, really. Because um, it's just too bad for him if I just show up with a better hand because we were even chips at that point. So, like, just the fact that, like, I just thought he was just like had ace king and then was going to call, you know, and then he shoves, and I'm like, how do you have ace jack in your range? Like, you're not supposed to be playing that. So it's, uh, it's trickier. It's tough to put people on hands a little bit, but, you know, now the blinds are a little bit bigger, and they're going to have to tighten up because they're going to realize that they really need to ladder up a little bit more. Okay, thank you. Cool, thanks. Take a look at the league standings for Heat 6. With 14 points awarded to the winner of the match, all the players still have a chance to make it to the final table, even those currently in the elimination zone but they will need to watch out for the point permutations. Remember, it's only the top four at the end of the night who are guaranteed a seat at the final table. No, no, no. So, Jason yeah, Kuhn and Phil Locke got, like, are joining me in the box for this final league team. match. Uh, and both players will be keenly watching this as Kuhn plans. could be pushed out of his uh, top spot place and Locke could be kicked out of the elimination one one zone. And, we and all they can do is watch on. Lines are two and four thousand. And Mizzy seems to be the most talking about at the moment. That's like the pressure the seems to be off him but as he sits then, with like the chill lead. Something even more special. Cool. I saw three Lunkins once. Yeah. Cool. I saw the Lunk, the Mr. Lunkin, Mrs. Lunkin, and the action Lunkin is folded shot. around. Deceiver. And, uh, Eleven thousand. I ran pretty good that week. Call. As Vanessa has taken a little bit of her foot off the gas, Seaver has not pre -fought. Yeah, I, I assumed that that was going to happen. He's probably pretty happy with his seat at this table. Absolutely yeah. loving it. So I'm curious. Now, of course, we're all flatting A7, closing the, closing the door on action, trivial, blah, 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 normal poker. How about this? In these dynamics, is it still? Check. Uh, can he fold? Could he have folded that? He doesn't like his hand right now, until I mean, does he? He has Shaq who, cold, who flatted, Check. and Shaq, and we have Seaver who's tricky. I just kind of think, Phil, that, wow, that look at this turn. Antonio sh shouldn't mind playing pots yeah, against yeah. Scott because they're kind of, they do have this repartee right They now. do, but I'm just saying, this. can you mathematically defend with A7 Antonio when the points are so bad? Antonio has Shaq has a pair open-ended straight flush draw, and wow. Seaver turned to straight. I mean, this wow, is just you're so right. What's going to yeah. happen? There's a chance that Shaq just pumps a ton of money in the middle. 
I think he likes to do that sometimes with strong hands. And, and he knows that these people. He did it! He did it! He yeah, went all uh, in! He's getting this snapped. is going to save Antonio. No, he's getting snapped. Seaver's going to go Seaver's in. Seaver's never folding. Yeah, that's ever, correct. With number two here. This is posturing by Antonio, which is fair. Wow. And, this, and now Scott's going to have to fold a bunch fold. of draws. Call. Yeah. He call. snapped, called. Shaq snapped, shoved. Wow, Seaver and spade should not. Wow. And Shaq covers Seaver. Spade or King, and it is. Well, Spade, spade is King. Scott Seaver's Premier League. Wait, what's. That was a bad turn for me. Don't worry, I haven't won a single all in all Premier League. Me neither. Shaq hates this. Yeah. Yeah, but I've had the actual nuts every time. You know, the actual this is not yeah, the nuts. Yeah. Well, let's see. Boo. Wow. And the just first like that. bit of river wow. that Scott Seaver has seen yeah, in the day. Yeah. I have like, I don't tell you right now, that's bad news for the rest of this table. Play. They're about to get run over. That's true. Yeah, They're about to get Seaverized. Yeah. yeah. He is the Premier League Poker season five, 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 five champion. He's he's handled his beats well up to this point. And there's your defending champion, Dan Shack, who actually probably made a play that should it's, it's within his game plan. Yeah. 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 It, well, it's very, very high variance, but he had a massive equity hand. Scott checked the flop, so it's unlikely he had a monster hand. Really, the only monster he could have is that turn straight. Blinds up to three and six thousand. Still a full table of eight. The popcorn kettle is oily right now. The heat is being turned up, and Dan Shack is very short. He's down to about 15, 14 big blinds right now. They will definitely be waiting on to see what he does. Six raise. So wants action for sure. She will take anybody on here. She needs to. She needs to take anybody on here. Yeah. Funny, like if, if these guys. And, wow. and Shaq she might, might shove. get it here. Shaq yeah. might shove. Yeah, she might get it here. Shaq might shove. These are the kind of spots where if he's doing so, he's covering his neck. Oh, I thought it. Oh. Yeah, I might, I might just see it, what not, would it, should he have yeah. thought about shoving there? Would you think no, it would have been the right play? Ninety-six thousand mm, against she her range, maybe. Yeah. All yeah, against her range, maybe. What? What do you want to ask Alei? Which side do you like? Neither. It's a good line, right? I'll lay you, uh... I'll lay you 1100. See one call. I think Mizzy, can he get in some tough spots post flop? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't agree with any of this. I really think that's horrible. Now he's going to have to check you call really one. You really want to, yeah. You, yeah, this is leaking chips. I'll do, uh, I'll do 200 yeah. to 240. It's just, it's... Yeah. You're not thinking in terms of chip EV here. You're thinking about uh, climbing like ladders, cool. you know? Yeah, and that's why it switches. <laughs> By the way, you can defend 7-8 till, right. till the moon grows like cheese it. head. Whatever. You just do it all the day long. You want to be defend. But with the points thing, it's just this is what we're talking about, really. Now he does have self covered by a long way, and I guess yeah. that's in the back right. of his mind. I could actually empty out my clip here and still be survivable. Yep. But um, he'll probably. She may ask him to empty out the clip. <laughs> if oh, a seven yeah. or eight comes, he'll I'm get. He's getting it. You know. Yeah. Now a nine makes a straight for the Mizzenator. How big should Vanessa bet here overall? There's 65. She started with one. So she has around two times the pot. Wow, I can't believe she checked that. Why? 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 I think you have to go for value against like yeah. Jack, whatever. No, it's that's a real bad check. Why'd she do it? She just doesn't want to get stacked by a lot of the hands in his range, but it's more important just to win the pot and protect against all yeah. these hands. I and, agree. And just she has no point. net, you know, for her. Check. Uh, so sick. Oh, don't do it now, Vanessa. Oh, no, she's going to check and lose. She's not going to bluff. She kind of knows that if Shrill had like a jack eight, even though it's not a straight, he's going to call anyways. And her hand has lots of showdown value against hands that would fold. Like, yeah, there you go. She's going to be sick. Second time she's gotten rivered with the queens in this heat alone. Yeah, he wants. You're really only losing to Jack 10 or 8-9 the there. Bet? I'm not even sure if 8-9 peels with just the I'll gutter I need that to get shallow on, stuff, so I just want to on the turn, so it's it's I'll real sick. Lot, huh? 
And, like, if she's going to play that protective of her stack, Jason, would it be better for her to be 3 and 4 x in pre-flop or betting pot size on the flop, or is that still not smart? No, I think, I think it's just fine to go ahead and play your standard approach, but just overall, with that stack depth, there's 65 in there, you've got 150 back. You should just go ahead and bet two thirds pot and call it off, you know? I'll tell you what, I'll take 1.8 for another $200. I believe Jason Kuhn is absolutely... Perfectly in line there. The, it's like uh, the chips in the pot. They're, it's not like a cash game. They're worth so much survival. Having the chips keep looking at hands. And like we were talking about with honest, good honest poker, I mean, it's maybe, I, I don't think she could bet fold the turn, but it's not like she has to worry about getting semi-bluffed off her hand. She's not going to bet, and he's not going to check jam a gutter on the Correct. turn. Correct. You know? You're right, so it's not in, since that's not in his range. I mean, does it, Sorry? if we like it, I feel like we have to. All right. Do. We'll check out this trap on. Scott Seaver has set here. Perfect's good. So was the limp, uh, why has Seaver limped, and was it trappy enough? Wow, well, he just got <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> he got has Vanessa's he got money. But wouldn't he have her even if he had been raised? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah he's spot. just, um, Seaver's just all about balance. It might not so even be no, that necessary, no but in his own mind, he always wants to balance right, all of so his limps. Go. So if he's limping the weak stuff, he wants to have aces in his range. And if you noticed, whenever him and I were heads up, we were doing a lot of button trapping against one yep. another. Um, and that was just for balance. And Vanessa's out ones. of this Premier League. Yeah, she's, she's out of this yeah, Premier League. Yeah, she's done. <laughs> Things don't have to make sense. Nothing makes sense. 500, you got it. From all in. Seat seven, she's so sad. She knows Fold. he has it. Fold. Wow. I just want to do it. Nothing <laughs> has gone right for Vanessa Seltz yeah, in this Premier girls. League. Just and run into it so much. This is the end. Yeah, and there's been uh, two queens folded and a queen ten, so it's going to be pretty hard for her to run out the Broadway. In a fun Premier League. Right now, yeah. Seltz 4% here, yeah. and 96% of the time, her tournament's over. Yeah. Almost just checked. Ooh, ten. Just got some... Backdoor hope. Back door. <laughs> two queens and or three kings. A two three could do it. Oh, a yeah, two three shot. king queen. Yeah, that's basically without that or a jack for the uh, game over. Game. 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 If a jack came, she could actually hit another jack, but she was thin. Yeah. Stuff. She's had a lot of difficult spots, Vanessa Selbst. Seems to, that she just ran into it a lot of times. Yeah, that 25 big blind shove is completely standard in my opinion. Scott's open limping a bunch of stuff that just flops well, that Ace Jack is way in front of. And for Selps, the bagel there officially ends her Premier League. And for a lot of players, they're not unhappy to see the back of her because it's going to make their chance to get to the final table that much stronger. Yeah, game's changed now. Jeff Gross is uh, back in action, basically. It's like he just got tagged back in the wrestling match. Can you just go? Just go. Is this a nice angle? Feeling that ch little chap was more meant for me. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little chap was meant for anybody. Who nah, nah, nah. Am I upset? Yes, I'm upset. I ran like crap the entire Premier League. What do you want? I mean, like, I didn't play that well. I don't know. What do you, I mean, you want like a, like, what do you like? Your, I mean, I'm just. Yes, that sucks. I wanted to do better, and I didn't, and that sucks. Vanessa Selps clearly very upset. Let's see how this affects the league table. Jeff Gross can now open things up. He will go ahead of Dan Coleman now. Everybody else is still in with a chance of making it through. But for Selps, she leaves with zero points today, and she is the first player to be eliminated from this season's event. We've lost Vanessa from this Premier League after just another heat where things didn't go right. Even twice alone in this heat, you, uh, you were beaten on the river with Queens. So yeah. give us your reactions to this. <laughs> I mean, I'm gutted. Like, obviously, I think... I just want to do well in this structure. Like I feel really confident about it. And today, I like literally, I made a flush. I made queens twice. Like I think an ace jack and aces. Like it's just like unbelievable. Like sometimes you just can't do anything. And I mean, I think I played my hands pretty well. Like I would have. I got a bad turn against Sorrell. I thought he was gonna fold if I bet, and then just the worst river. I mean, it's just like just spots where like I lost the minimum today. Um, and uh, you know, it is what it is. Welcome back to the Party Poker Premier League. 
It's all drama here in Montreal. Before the break, Vanessa Selps was eliminated from this season's event. On the table, it's business as usual, and the players have also been doing a little bit of side betting. The Premier League tournament is great because all the players are good friends. We're having fun at the table, telling jokes, gambling. There's a never-ending staircase. How many stairs would Phil have to run up before he just stopped and like, dropped dead? All right, how much Vanessa thinks Phil Locke would have to get paid to change his name to Huckleberry? When poker players hang out, they're just gamble. They can't help themselves, myself included. They pose a question to a bystander and bet on what they think his answer will be. What percent of Antonio's <laughs> net worth would he give away if a thousand people who were in poverty would be, become millionaires, but no one knows that he's ever done it? It's not long before some serious cash is flying around the table. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat the bets, and if there's anything else, okay, you guys have a 2,000 to 3,000. With Antonio, I have a 2 to 240, a 2 to 300, and I have a 5 to 800. Do you guys chop? All right. Warren, come on! Warren, do the right thing! Warren, do the right thing! Do the right thing! Do it! We got it! We got it! So low! I think we got it! Yes! Yes! I was so scared! I said it was the best! I knew it was the best! The pros lost all the money. The fish collected. The pros lost. Damn. So Jason, right, I feel the, like we're in the spot in. now where the guy at the table 3, most capitalized to, to oh, take advantage of the no, no, dynamics is Jeff Gross, no, 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 and it hasn't oh, yeah, clicked right, in yet. Right, yeah. He's, he's not, actually uh, he's, he's gone thousand. from a spot oh, yeah. where yeah, he should be folding 100 yeah, percent to now he can be opening massively wide, and Scott Seaver won't even do anything about it. Yeah, that's an extreme difference. Does he know that? He, he has to, but no, he doesn't. I mean, Jeff Gross doesn't know. No, Jeff Gross does not know. Because he's folding all the time. Well, because, I mean, Jeff Gross is good for This would be a perfect time Open for him to steal, because he would sure. get the chips. Okay, have things changed enough for Brian Rast, where he, he must Fold. feel like, he must feel like he's Fold. a lock for top Fold. eight. Is Rast a lock for top eight? Like He's now got 21 points. Uh, I don't think that's bag. not a lot. No, I don't think so either. So you should probably be folding here. But this, this could be a bad I'm a little amazed. He, yeah. he opened a 15 here with a He's not necessarily six. slow playing. He's just not doing so C3 well against uh, his early position. Or he shouldn't be doing so well against his early position opening range. I think Rast will check call one. Seven bet, 22,000. It's going to be tough to play, but he's probably going to check call one. I mean, as we saw in that pot earlier oh, today, Rast seems to be kind of leveled trying to... He really yeah. understands why you can't play hands, because really you you, yeah. you only play hand if you know they're all going to fold, but with Siva, with all those chips... I'm, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of permutations where if Rast is the next player out, uh, he does not make the top eight. Uh, Duhamel just needs, you know... He's, he certainly, three players could certainly pass him. Duhamel, Esfandiari, Seaver, and Shaq. Only three of those players would have to finish with 21 points or more. Certainly a lot of possibilities. Yeah, I love Rasti, but I need him to bust. He, he, Rast can't really open up his game until either Duhamel or Esfandiari bust. Wow, the ace four off. With a pile of people behind him, too. That's pretty wild. Yep. I do wonder if, um, and I, are, does the keep the shorties in apply right now for Scott Seaver? 100%. 100%. He wants Dan Shack here. Total's going to be 134. Just gives him a warrant to open away. I mean, what other question? You played another lot. Yeah, that was from before. I already put that in the phone. That's done. Oh, that's, that's I'm just it seems right. like I'm just this, this is this a trivial sort of pass yeah, for thousand. Scott Seaver, so but one interesting thing, guys, is that Dan Shack should start to realize that Scott right. Seaver is not interested in calling his Hope. shoves, and that could that's make him very powerful. He's got a perfect seat to well, rein Scott Seaver in, in, to chip up yeah, against him. So outside of Duhamel having all the chips, I feel pretty good about the spot. Um, Seaver having a bunch of chips is really good yeah, news for anybody he's, he's, he's like me and Phil that are trying to trying to get some pay jumps or some final table locks or whatever it may be.
total with Jeff. the split? No, yeah, no, Jason, no, you're, you you're mostly wrong. concerned right now with I'm obviously how right. what's going to happen with um, Mizzy and the fact that Rast is not having chips. You need two people to pass you. Well, I need Rast to not get top three, and I need Duhamel not to win as well. Right. No, the other questions in my phone, on the book. So, receiver's on 100% open right now, right? Jack Deuce is in the the bottom what? Is it the bottom 1%, the bottom 2%? He is 100% open. But look at this, everyone's 100% frozen. I mean, it's free city for the players. Although, now we can see. 100% frozen mode. And interestingly okay, enough, so now you know you know your opponent open is opening 100. percent I think you, this is a for sure call. If you connect, really? though, you Isn't have to. Isn't this when you send a message to Jonathan Duhamel if you're Scott Seaver? You remind him what's going on Jack, in this you that you know check, what's going check. on. Jonathan Duhamel cannot bust next. Shouldn't Scott Seaver just send him the message? Yep. Duhamel knows he's winning, but I don't think he should bet. Yeah, it doesn't I think make a it's lot a check sense. call. Bet, You're just dollars. getting all worse hands that might bluff. To it's hard though because you get hey, good clean information. Yeah, if you bet and get called or raise, call. you can be. Now he's thinking what call? I, I mean, Seaver's setting nines? him up for the bomber, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seaver's gonna bluff. He's worried about pocket oh, nines or something. It was fun. I don't know. Is Jonathan Duhamel just crazy enough to say I don't really care? Will he call with an ace? I don't really care. I think there's a chance Seaver just bets like. By the way, when like, you first said that thing about 100, it could be wow. Oh, he's trying to shit on Jack High? That was hopeless. I think you call there if you're going to bomb the river. It's that whole regular poker taking over again. Well, I mean, of course he's going to call if he has quad sevens or a ten or whatever, but does he? Is he gonna now, hold up. Is there any reason, tournament points wise, why. Seaver will want Duhamel yeah, to have more chips. Oh, that would have. That would. Let's see. Because there is definitely uh, reasons to collude. Um, I think it's not the, cheating. I think it's actually the opposite. Uh, he doesn't want him to have chips. I actually think. Bug him. Right. I okay. actually think that Duhamel is one of the guys who he okay. benefits from. Okay. Because uh, uh, Seaver wants to be in a spot where he can get to the heads up with a top three or top possibly top four finish. Okay. Yeah. And, and That's I'm where, glad you said yeah. that counterintuitive yeah. thinking could have hit it on the. No, we could have just discovered, you know. Yeah, because I, I when you see a guy flat and then not jam, the, when, with that line, you're thinking, okay, maybe he wanted him to have the chips. Then Shaq gets to shove again. What's the Shaq shove now? Oh yeah, come on, Shaq. There you go. Shake Shaq. Shaqster's all in. Shaqster. Shaq attack. Had good timing on Seaver. All in frequency is very high. Yes. Guys, blinds are going up now. Three and six thousand is over. Well, what's the most interesting dynamic on this leaderboard for you? Well, it looks like most of the stacks are going to be right there in that 25 big blind range where there's going to be a lot of reshoving and not a lot else going on, especially uh, with the next level making such a significant jump to 6K, 12K. So there could be some fireworks this level with some reshoves. And, and uh, interesting thing points-wise is Rast, Antonio, and Gross, you know, always having the comfort of around average 300. They went down together. Shaq bumping oh. up like this. They're all now four in the same quadrant. 190 to 203. This is super narrow bandwidthing for four players. Go on, Duhamel. 16,000. You don't care. You're not scared. He's like, is Scott Seaver in the small blind? I don't care. <laughs> you are not scared. Call. I don't know. You're Duhamel. Brave man. Brave man <laughs> raising into his big blind. He's got a little bit of confidence. <laughs> Brave true. man, Jonathan. It's true. He's picking the chip leader <laughs> and the guy who's just shoved all in. Like, all he has yeah. to do is put his hands around his stack. Check. Twenty thousand fold. It's the demeanor. Uh, it's the demeanor. I'm, I'm still telling not you. so sold, guys. I think we might be missing we a little something. We have to be. We have to be. Could it be that there's so many people who want do? That's not just him. There's so many people who want do Hamel to bust next. Brian Rast, piece? for instance. Yeah, I think he's that handcuffed there's something by going on with his strategy. S. There's something going on. handcuffed by yeah. Duhamel. Uh, oh, that could very well uh, be it. He's keeping Duhamel alive so that they have to wait him out. That could, that could be well it, be so he can get chips from other guys, yeah. let Duhamel yeah. keep them beat. So uh, he's discounting the whole, I could go, I could actually get fourth. Yeah, and he's I don't saying, think he I, could, right. there's more game more in them game. playing conservatively. And that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. It's hundred percent it. We have cracked it. Seaver yeah. made mathematically pure decisions. He is trying to leak chips. The guy's just so chips. good. He's so good. He's so smart.
He's going to keep those guys in the coffin, keep Duhamel alive, and just chip away at everybody else. Scott Seaver, former Season 5 champion, clearly has a strategy to go on and win his second Premier League title. Winning this tournament would be great because maybe it puts another feather in the cap and shows that the first one wasn't just a fluke. I came to Vienna to play the Premier League knowing nothing of the format, the players, the characters, the time it really takes. And honestly, it was a bit of an overwhelming shock at first, but I tried to handle it as well as I can. I just tried to play my game. I got lucky and I emerged victorious. I feel recently that I've been playing great poker and I'm confident. Everyone always feels that they're confident, or they should, but that doesn't belittle how important it is. I think I'm playing well, and therefore I'm more confident in my game and the decisions I'm making, and hopefully this all translates into a big win. We're back for more from this heat of Premier League Poker 7 in a moment. It doesn't feel like you're happy with one point. Got my Premier League record in jeopardy, Scott. Cards are set no matter what you root for. They are what they are. What's so sick is I think if I look down at two aces, I can't call you. I was fooling to you, that's for sure. <laughs> I haven't gotten lucky once in this Premier League, so maybe I'm due. Welcome back to Montreal's Playground Poker Club. This season, our lineup plays four heats in a bid to accumulate points. Those in the bottom four league positions will be eliminated after this game. Let's find out how our players are getting on and hand back over to your commentators. It's potentially a little bit scary for all these players on the Premier League Poker 7 final heat table because one thing they will all know is that Scott Seaver's not going to do anything wrong right now. No. So, like, they're all in his world right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. He's the guy that's just going to come in here prepared. Like, like we thought we had everything pegged, and oh. then you see some weird stuff going on, and, you know, take five minutes, oh. we realize, hey, this is what he's doing. I guarantee you nobody else picked up on that. Oh. Right. Because it's not going to showdown, you know. Right, and they're not, not seeing down, the hands. Pot. If they could right. see the hands, yeah. they would know exactly what he's thinking. Yep. And they could adjust and punish and get some, but they don't see it. We're seeing it. Yep. It's so interesting. Wow. 18,000. Can he do it again? This is different. Miz well, has been I, I playing think, wider. I think this is That's Jeff Gross been. dependent. Oh, he's, it's he's Jeff Gross on, on the big blind. Oh, here he is. Hold. Yeah, he's going to be all in here against the cutoff open. Yeah, especially against Miz, who's not playing as tight as someone. Yeah, he's going to take that one Hold. down. Yep. Posturing. Yeah, Hollywood. absolutely never calling Ace Deuce off. Kick him in the shins. Gosh, there there can't be. There can't be a reason to call nah, here. Nah, nah. He's just making Antonio sweat it a little bit. Doesn't feel like you're happy with one point. As he slurps his hot cocoa. He said it doesn't feel like you're happy with a point, Antonio. It's actually... <laughs> It's a, I think it's impossible for Antonio to make the final eight if he goes out in seventh position. I yeah. think it's impossible. I think Antonio has been playing very well today. Well, he hasn't had much to work with, but I think he's been on the... You know, I didn't didn't know he had discipline in him. And today he's been playing very disciplined. Such a good album. 21 21 yep. He does have all the gears, right? I Phil? think he had to lose that king six versus king queen hand against Selps 21, to find 21. the discipline button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Maybe that's like a spot point. where even t to 21, his credit, uh, he doesn't lose a pile of his. He doesn't lose right. a ton of his Sorry, pile if he doubles. And, and, and also, once he when he's additionally handcuffed by a, a shorter stack, his patience can be shown a lot easier. Absolutely. Twenty-one thirty. 17,000. Anytime Seaver picks up a big hand, potential Fold. for him to stack someone. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if we can get a sweat here. Fold. 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 <laughs> wow. What did you say when I was in the sweat box? You said wow. uh, you know, I wouldn't be happy with one. This is what's so tough when you know a guy's opening everything. Yeah, and you only have one person behind you as well. This is a really, really sick spot. I kind of, Jeff I kind has of played these like spots tighter than anybody yeah, in the man, tournament so far. Yeah, played in the last 30 hands. I, I think he, I think he up, might okay. shove. I, mean, I kind of I think that it's... Yeah, I'm really just I don't know, is it a bad line, shove? You know? It doesn't feel like a terrible shove, does it? Yeah, I don't... I think he's going to fold. Really? Yep, I'll bet you 500 he folds. 
I don't want to make a bet. I okay, the, the thing feeling. is, he's just so good at laddering up. He's like, I'm just going to go with the math ladder. Almost, he's just uh, taking the math ladder. But in the blind, he's having so off, much no bet, fold no equity. Bet. Yeah, I was just going to say, I was about to snap you. I was like, you still want for that? I saw it in his eyes. That he's going to fold? No, he's going to shove. Like you're the king of misinformation. Feels like, like he wants to shove. No, he's going to ship it. Yeah, that's that, why I got out of this bet. You probably yep. Look at his eyes. Had the best hand. He's getting that. I should just I do it. You, yep. uh, it's the right play. He's going to fold everything anyways. Yeah. A number. He's, but that smile, yeah, is, but he knows it doesn't. He knows it. I tell my so far, he's just been so consistent. No, fold it. everything, fold all the time. Fold everything. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad I got out of that bet. Yeah. In the end, it's just snapped. It's just snapped. It's just snapped. It's just I wonder, because Gross is one of the people who Siever doesn't mind seeing do well, but it, it's too oh, wow. short. Trying to point. pick up chips right. is too it's important. Too it's, not it's, just too important. <laughs> it's just too important. Right? Yeah. It's just too I mean, big. At the end of the day, Seaver needs chips. He needs right. to win this thing. I actually thought it's funny because that was the closest, J the hardest one JG had, and it's only because he knows Seaver's opening at like 100 percent or close to it, 90 percent. Like, and poor JG's getting inadvertently slow rolled here. Got my Premier League record in Jeopardy, Scott. Top two every heat. You know, it's kind of. I know, I know. I know. I'm sure there is a decision. I wonder <laughs> how so clear it is. Yeah. I wonder it was, how clear it is for Scott. If it was Duhama with those ace jack, maybe he would fold his ace king, let him have the chips, you know? He's doing yeah. the points. He's yeah. just seeing, okay, I know I get these points. Two, I know I'm four, a favorite. But uh, he's structured yep. so carefully where yeah, he call. wants the chips oh. to come from. Okay, oh, wow. he made a. He decided to call. Uh, he was trying to make the case for a fold. There's time. probably a I've case to be made, but not nearly as strong as yeah, the case to call. That's exactly what he was thinking about. Not yeah. how much equity he has yeah, against Jeff. Win. No, yeah, it was never in his mind. <laughs> he was like, and uh, he's like, could it be a mistake to call with this? You want me to win? Thing? Uh, you know, I, that's why I deviate from my strategy, and I need a J for Jeff. No. He's got the backdoor diamonds. You can't count out Jeff Gross this Premier League, yep, I'll tell you Montreal. that. Montreal, he does so good in Montreal, even a 10 of diamonds would yeah. be cool. Cards Niner. are set no matter what you root for, they are what they are. It's not a good card. There are no split it's pots. Jack for Jeff, for Jeff is bounce. F for Jeff, Jeff. Oh, ooh. Game. Jeff Kicker nice plays, and for Jeff See Gross, guys. he'll take the See one point, 37. Uh -oh, get to, he is currently wow, fish. the yeah, like chip leader at the final <sighs> table as he breaks what a good beats Dan Coleman in, uh, in tie just, breakers. You know, like the only thing right that can change that is uh, first place by two more people. Huh? Yeah, I just I, now I have a pretty sick spot here. If Rass gets doubled up, I'm I'm in a lot of trouble. No. You have a strategy that got you top two every time. Yeah, Your first deviation. Yeah, I know. Good luck. 2000, please. Just don't win, Miz, but do whatever else well, you gotta so do. Seaver is now over a million chips, and the man currently in the elimination zone on the league table looks like he will progress through to the heads up stage. The two players at the bottom of the league standing have the fewest chips. They really have a lot of work to do to have any chance of progressing through to the next stage of the tournament. I'm a little bummed that, you know, obviously seventh, not what I wanted, but I knew I had to get seventh. That was like the minimum today. I was just going to play tight until that and didn't go my way, but I am uh, I still think I'll be first tomorrow in the um, final table and either way I'll be first or second and I'll, I'll be ready to go. So I'm very excited. Are you going to stick around and kind of watch how this heat oh, plays yeah. out? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd pay money to stay around. I love being able to watch the, you know, in the booth and hang out. It's awesome. I definitely stay around, see what, uh, see what transpires, and uh, I have to sweat against Mizzy now. I mean, yeah. I, I think I'm in pretty, I'm probably like 70 something percent because he still has to win. So, Scott has a lot of chips, and he's going to be kind of tight. So uh, I just, I hope he doesn't get heads up because then it'll be a real sweat. But uh, I like my chances to be first going in tomorrow. Well, we will see you at the final table. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So still a lot to play for. Obviously, Scott Seaver looking more and more like a guy who's going to be in the heads up. Jonathan Duhamel as well. Antonio's got a rocky road, and it looks like Brian Rast is now guaranteed to be in there. Wow, and that's that's exactly so. He's realized it. This guy understands. And 
Oh, wow. No. So sick is I think if I wow. look down two aces, I can't call you. That's, that's the sickest thing. So I, that's I, I such a big shovel they six off. You wanted a call there, huh? Yeah, I mean, I understand why John folded, though, because Rass definitely should not be open shoving that many big blinds with a six off. But, but he's got nothing to lose. Yeah, but I mean, just specifically chips-wise, you're losing money shoving there. For it's a minus EV thing with it. It's yeah, just, I mean, you can't I mean, overcome like, the math. So yeah, he's, he's, he's near the same stack size as Shaq and, and Antonio, so I just don't see the point of shipping in a hand that's losing you money. Um, yeah, I mean, shoving queen nine suited is a better shove than shoving a six off for 22 big blinds. There. And in your yep, mind, that's the uh, there's so many short stacks out there that Brian Rask can get third another way. Yeah, I mean, there's just it's just an unnecessary risk with your stack size. I would understand if if you had, like, 12 bigs or something, 18, but he's still got a lot of room. So Duhamel gets a real hand here. Two jacks. I mean, I'm supposed to shove any two cards here against you. Just not these two. Then you should pull. I just can't. <laughs> and even though... Dan's doing fine. I think even though Duhamel knows he can't go out next because it's really bad for him, he's going to go with this. It's just like... It's a very strong hand. It's a tough one to... Well, is he going to mess around here? The question is how bad it is it for Duhamel to go out next? It's... It's pretty bad, but it's, um... <laughs> what is Mizzy this? Mizzy just loves that button three bet. Raised to 40, wow, and this 000. is actually going to oh. create... Wow. Let's see what goes wow. on. Tony um, Brian oh. Rast gets wow. to instantly fold ace-jack, so which he might have... Just so, so I'm running so bad. <laughs> That's I'm amazing because so if bad. Mizzy just plays an honest game yeah, there... Yeah, and folds, Rast reshoves, Rast and then we have him all in jack yeah. to ace-jack for yeah. me to lock up ahead. So up. Mizzy That's thinks insane. that Duhamel is <laughs> scared like to go out much. next. What does Duhamel think about he's that? He's thinking, I don't give a beep, and he's going to go all in. That's what I think, too. Yeah. All in. I'm Duhamel! Wow. How did Rass get... <laughs> Rass is the Rass luckiest. Rass is running so good. <laughs> he has no idea how good he ran yeah. there. Oh my god, Mizzy gets And I'm running so bad. That is so Far. sick. Very well done. I was fooling to you, that's for sure. What? I was fooling to you, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> really, huh? I'm not scared, Sorrel. <sighs> it's crunch time for some of our Premier League players. It's all about points and figuring out what they need to do to avoid elimination. Action continues after the break. Welcome back to the Playground Poker Club in Montreal, where season seven of the Party Poker Premier League is reaching the end of the league stages. We now have six players left in this last heat. Before the break, Jeff Gross was eliminated, but despite just getting one point, he is still guaranteed a final table spot. Let's get back to the action to find out who will join him there. Get on in so there. With, with no change, no, as if everyone goes out according to chip count right now, I believe no, I'm lying. King, 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 Jeff, King Dan, Sorrell, and Jason in the King top four. Like, that's and then it would ballsy. be King ten Jungle Man, Rast. I need you gone, kid. Duhamel and Seaver in, uh, yeah. in the heads up. And Antonio is currently the in ball. an elimination position along with Shaq. Oh, yeah. So, I guess you could look at it in a kind of way where Shaq and Antonio need to make something happen or at least outlast someone else at the table. Heads up. Check. The Miz flops it. A good hand. Yeah, just going to go check call. Um, I think there's a chance that Seaver bets two streets for value and then checks back the river. Five thousand. Just assuming that. Yep. Uh, yeah, just assuming uh, that no Call draw card five. gets there on the turn. Like if a king especially rolls off, I think Seaver will keep value betting, and then just check back the river. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's a card that I think Scott. It, it's close between a check back, check. but he can protect check. against worse sixes, worse threes, and draws. Okay, so now Scott will probably fold to a river bet, um, but a lot of bricks, Scott would just snap call, uh, knowing they'll miss. But now since 4-5 at least made a pair and tried to show down, 5-7 made a straight, uh, even like a uh, hand like deuce 5 maybe would check call one, deuce 5 of clubs or something like that. Uh, so I think Scott will just find a fold. The only thing that missed completely is hearts. Miz trying to size this out. 
Yeah, he might just choose like a strange bet size, which would be fine if he bet like 120,000 since Scott never has any better than one pair. 100,000. Yeah, oh. so he just chooses an over bet. Right. I mean, Could it makes total sense. The only thing now, that the bet doesn't oh, make yeah, complete yeah. sense with is Sorrell just doesn't have all that many bluffs in his range by the river. So maybe like a sm slightly smaller bet would make more sense. Well, bro, sometimes 21, 25. That's the nerd coming out in me. 21, 30. Sorry. We like it. We oh, like it. Good. Yeah. 21, 31. 21, 34. 21, 39. The live read think thinking is when you know your opponent likes 20. your hand, bet 40. more. <laughs> it's just like, if, and when you know they're sticky and you're bluffing, bet less. That just like saves right. you a little money over the uh -huh. year. And you should always ask yourself the question, if I go all in, he can never call. Can he? Can he ever call? Unless if they I have go ace. all in, can he call? Well, yeah, Phil asked himself that yesterday. <laughs> Phil asked and if you get the answer right, basis. double check your math. Yeah, if you get the, <laughs> they have to fold. Time. Double check. That's always the last question you ask yourself before making a bet in a no limit situation. All in. If I go all in, can he call? <laughs> oh. Under. Look at the position these all ins give the small under. pairs. It's just so annoying. Yeah, so decision time. Decision time for Dan Shack. Is it what, what quality of decision do you feel like he should he uh -oh. has here? I think he should say my hand significantly oh, behind what this guy should be shoving for this many chips I fold. Yeah. He won. Um, and if he's shoving well, and I'm beating him, him, it's a race and I. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. He, this would just be a, uh, Even though we know Rass is shoving wider than what he should be, Dan doesn't know that. Therefore, it's easier for him. Yeah, it's just it. Okay. You want to be the last aggressor. If you call, you're just calling. If you aggress, purely. He doesn't even. He, it does, he just doesn't dominate anything Ooh, other than like deuces, like, threes, and fours, yeah. and I don't think Rast even shut. Well, I shouldn't shove those. If he had eights, I, I would be fine with him going all in since he beats all the pairs under that. I can't, I can't catch either one of them because they'll get Rast gets. I don't think you guys should can discuss this. <laughs> no, we can't. I mean, no, not in mid hand. <laughs> uh, okay, then I fold. Now we'll discuss it. <laughs> I fold. I fold because if that's right, bust Rast and they're Antonio pointed out that during a hand you can't have strategy conversations. We get relaxed <laughs> here and there, but well, exactly. I think that was a fair. Yeah. That was a fair. Yeah, it was on the uh, fair. Yeah, um, all right, so, so are you going under or over? What is it? Twenty-one eighty. Yeah. Well, it's on. You see a guy like Dan Coleman come in and just kind of fold for the blinds get big, and now I kind of understand why sitting here watching. There's just a lot of uh, shove mistakes. Big, big, big shove mistakes. Now one more action. That was a bluff. And seat one has a penalty. A two-hand penalty. Penalty for folding out of turn. Wow. Close to folding first you. It's a pretty big deal. Damn it. Thank you. Right now it looks like sweet revenge for Seaver. I like it. Like not it that far away time. from hooking his man, place in the play. I just ago. really wanted to grab like 150 years from now. <laughs> and I felt that did it. I was just ready to buy. And wow. Well, I mean, it's always There's a good a big time hand. to pick and up aces if you're Seaver. <clears throat> that was oh, good hard. game, Dan. Check. Right. Oh, Dan, it's been yeah. nice having you at well, this Premier 18% League. Eighteen percent of the time. Fold. He's gonna get there. Call. Fold and call. Oh, Jesus. I had a real hand. Yeah, this is a bit of an unlucky spot I'm, for yeah. Dan Shack. I'm obviously I love Scott, but I'm rooting for a ten. Huh? I want nice. Dan to outlive Rast. Who else is rooting for Dan Shack in this one? I have to. If I need, I, if, if it, I need Antonio to go up first. Therefore, yeah. I have to have a 10 here to survive. I, I think Jeff yeah. Gross might be a Shack fan in this spot. Well, we've got some backdoor sweats. Nine or seven. This is what thin, is, a thin 12%. He's, he doesn't have the JG Montreal thing going on. He's just a regular man. Ooh, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> He's down to his just the two outs that it felt like he had. He is the defending champion in this Premier League. But for Dan Shack, he is not going to make the final eight elimination. His it's multiple eliminations. It's Shack and it's Phil. It's boom. Things happen out there with that elimination. Dan Shack will finish this Premier League with 10 points. All right, yeah, so you just Smile for Seaver. All the players left at this table guaranteed five points. And Phil Locke, I think I'm out. I you are officially out of the Premier League. It's, there's no doubt about it. Let's take a look at the chips on the table. Seaver has now increased his lead. He almost has half the chips in play and looks set to progress through to the heads up stage. But with five players left, anything could happen in this last league match. However, with that last knockout, we do bid farewell to Dan Shack.
We've lost Anchak from this heat and unfortunately from the Premier League as well for the rest of the season. It seemed like you just ran incredibly poorly. There are a few players this season that just couldn't seem to catch a break. How do you push past that the next time that you're playing poker? Oh, it's part of the game. I mean, you run well for a while and then sometimes you just don't. Um, I made a couple mistakes also, so I wouldn't just uh, blame it on running bad. I mean, I think I played well today. I just ran two bad hands into Scott Seaver and there's nothing really I could do about it. Um, but I love the Premier League and I have good memories from last time and everyone's great here and uh, I love being here. So, you know, you, as a poker player, you know you're not going to win every time you play. So, you know, you have to roll with these things and um, wait till it turns around. We're sad to say goodbye to our defending champion, Dan Chak. Next season, we'll see you again. This is confirmation of the league standings after Dan Shack's knockout, with all the highlighted players still at the table and guaranteed at least five points. Those now eliminated include Dan Shack, Vanessa Self, and Phil Locke. One more player will also be sent to the rail for good. Those still in danger are Scott Seaver, Antonio Esfandiari, Jonathan Duhamel, and Jungleman, who is already in the clubhouse on 24 points. For the rest, at least, a playoff place is guaranteed at this stage. The last heat is certainly delivering some incredible action as we find out who is guaranteed a place at the final table. Make sure you join us next time when the league table is finalized and we move a step closer to crowning this season's champion here in Montreal. Unfoldable can't win hands. One time can I get there? What would Vanessa Salt do? Whoops. Oh my oh. God. Wow. This is going to be very loose, but I think I need to do it here. Yeah.